night. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another live tour of our residence halls here on campus. I'm going to give some time to allow some folks to hop on, but today we're going to be looking at the Capstone Residence Hall, home to the Capstone Scholars. Uh, this is one of our more iconic buildings here on campus. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. Slight breeze, as you probably can tell, so I'm going to hang out here just for a little bit in the courtyard. Let's go inside. I'm going to flip my camera around and show you uh, the exterior of the hall. Gorgeous area to eat and hang out. And then here is the iconic capstone building. 18 floors with a basement total. We got tables set up for a cookout tonight. Gibbs Court's hosting a cookout for the residents here. So super excited about that. And there's a lot to offer here at Capstone. So we're going to go ahead and hop in again. It's pretty windy outside, so I'm going to step in so you guys can hear me better. All right, so I'm going to walk in on the east side of the building. And on this side, the first thing that we're going to see is Gibbs Court. So Gibbs is um, Gibbs is an all-you-care-to-eat dining facility in the residence hall. So when you first walk in, you're going to see a grab-and-go station. This is a place where you can use a quick snack. Um, you can use cash or your Carolina card for this. And then here is the Gibbs Bistro. So we have uh, the Gibbs course. So we have lots of uh, options here. And you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay all you care to eat and this is not just for capstone students this is for all students with a meal plan uh, but again it's always nice to have a place to grab some food right down your hall so, yes i am <laughs> we're on instagram live oh instagram so show, live. yeah showing everybody gives court in the capstone hall and how wonderful we look Trisha, yes. hello. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Good. All right, love talking to the friendly staff of Gibbs Court. And then here, we're gonna have one of the main spots for community, our main lobby. Um, here is Suze. Suze is the RLC of Capstone. And uh, Suze, what are we doing down here today? Yeah, so we are doing an AMA and Ask Me Anything about closing. And we're also playing Pop-Tart Roulette. So we have all these wonderful Pop-Tarts here in this wonderful box, which is all foil. So yep. you got odds be in your favor to choose the right thing. But we're talking about closing, so we'll be packing up shop here on May 6th. All the students will be moving out. Yeah. Uh, so we are making sure that they have all the information they need and they're signed up with their RM. And Perfect. Yeah, and we have Pop-Tarts, so Pop-Tart Roulette. Awesome. Thanks, Suze. Yeah, yeah. So as she mentioned, uh, for students that are here, uh, move out is soon. Uh, the spring semester is coming to a close. And uh, so that just means that fall is right around the corner for the next batch of students coming in. Um, as you can see here, we have our Give It Up For Good donation spot. I do want to highlight the beautiful artwork here in this capstone lobby. Um, furniture renovations were done very recently and I uh, always love showing that off. Um, Capstone also has event space. So we have the uh, Capstone campus room. Um, there is a mid student day going on here right now, but just want to show you um, what this room is. And uh, we do have an events center here at uh, Carolina. We have a, a conference center. And so this is one of the many rooms at the conference center um, books. We have our socially distant um, chair set up right now, but this room at full capacity can hold all kinds of parties and events for student organizations and um, outside organizations as well. We've had weddings here at this building and all that fun stuff. So um, the Capstone Lobby has lots to offer. And uh, we're gonna go up and show you a room. You know, I'm feeling a little healthy today, so we're gonna take the stairs. I'm gonna try to ask, uh, answer some of your questions um, as we go along here. So we're gonna take the stairs and head on up. If I lose you, I will reconnect with you guys at the top of the stairs. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the chat and I'll do my best to answer as we make our way up to a room. Cool. 
So Capstone does have 17 floors, um, which is phenomenal. So lots, lots of room here in the building. Um, when we get to the room, I'll tell you about something special in Capstone. My camera's not going to cooperate with me here, so I apologize for all the movement. Get my exercise on here. All right. Okay, I could probably All right, and here we are on the seventh floor. We're going to show you an example room. I do see a question. If we chose housing before acceptances came out, we need to put capstone in. No, no. So um, when your application is submitted, I am going to remove, remove my mask out of this room. When your application is submitted, um, that's going to hold your spot in line. So you were good to go there. So capstone is going to be home to the capstone scholars. So if you're not a Capstone Scholar, unfortunately, um, this building will not be an option for you. And I know that those acceptances come out in waves with Capstone. So if you did not know your, uh, your placement yet when you first applied, but now you do know that, hey, I've been accepted to the Capstone community, or I've been accepted as a Capstone Scholar, you may go in. So I wanna turn my camera around and show you an example of room here. All right, so this is the doorway I just walked in. You have two very sizable closets here. One for you and one for your roommate. This room has a micro fridge in it. Now this is, this is not something that comes standard with the room, but the students that were here before did rent this. Um, so micro fridge is gonna be a fridge and a microwave combined. Um, what's unique about the microwave is that it has all kinds of safety and smoke sensors built into it. So if you're overcooking your popcorn a little bit, um, the microwave will cut off. Um, so that way no fire alarms go off and it keeps you and your roommates safe. So those are available for rent. Uh, we partner with Standard for Living with that. So those are available for rent, you can check that out. All right, so sorry, I left my mask here on the bed. But here's an example of the room. Again, like most rooms here at Carolina, you're gonna have a desk and chair um, for both students. You see that uh, you have the dressers underneath the bed and then two twin XLs. I do want to show you one of my favorite parts about Capstone is the view. What a beautiful view. And we're on the seventh floor, we're not even all the way up at the top. So beautiful view. You've got the close hip building, home to the um, hospitality, retail and sport management program. You see Gambrell in the background. And that is going to be Barnwell Street right in front of us if you're familiar with Columbia. So, and uh, this room is a little bit unique in the fact that it is a corner room. So it does not actually have a suite attached to it. So I wanna be able to show you guys the bathroom. So in most cases, because Capstone is a suite style hall, you're gonna have a door right here. That door's gonna take you to your suite mate's room. But in this situation, it is a corner room. So this particular room does not have any suite mates. So it'll be just you and your roommate. All right, Capstone does have a laundry facility. That facility is gonna be located in the basement of the hall. And again, laundry is, uh, laundry is completely free here on campus uh, for, for on-campus students. So if you've got a load of laundry to do, don't have any corners, don't worry about it, it is free. So we're happy to provide that service. I'm gonna answer a couple questions here and then um, I'd love to take you guys down to the basement and show you that laundry facility as well as some of the, um, the game rooms down there. So, we, um, we, this is sweet style hall, okay? So normally you're gonna have your room, bathroom separating it, and your suite mates. So when you're selecting your roommates, again, uh, I do wanna emphasize this, you will select one person, regardless of your apartment style, suite style, or traditional. Um, and if you do know who your suite mates, uh, or you know who you want to have as your suite mates, 
you can communicate with them, but you won't necessarily be able to select those two rooms jointly together, okay? Um, Castle does have an elevator that run up and down, so if you don't wanna take the stairs like I just did, you can use those elevators. Um, and one thing I do wanna talk about, we're not gonna be able to visit it today, um, but technically speaking, Capstone is home to two dining facilities. Um, at the very top, we have what we like to call the top of Carolina. That's going to be on the 18th floor of Capstone. It is a uh, restaurant, has a fantastic brunch if you are in brunch. And uh, it is an all-you-care-to-eat dining experience. And what's unique is that the, the top of Carolina actually rotates a full 360 degrees. If you, It's probably my favorite view of Columbia. You're going to see... Five points, you're gonna see the downtown city area, you're gonna see the state house, you're gonna see campus. It's a wonderful experience. Um, hasn't been as open as much as we'd like due to COVID, um, but if you, uh, if you do want a special treat here, um, I do recommend the top of Carolina. And then the 17th floor, um, you know, we saw the capstone campus room downstairs. The 17th floor has some beautiful uh, campus rooms for event space. So if you're a part of a student organization, we have so many student organizations here at Carolina, um, you will be able to, to be a part of that. So any questions, I will answer them in the chat here. I don't see many, so um, again, feel free to for ask me questions if you'd like. I can try to answer some of those more common questions you have. Um, that we do have, this is gonna be a room with, uh, with plaster walls. Um, so we do ask that you bring push pins to hang up all of your, um, your memorabilia, your flags, your Gamecock pennants, um, whatever you wanna to bring to campus. Um, we do ask you to do that. And then this actually is gonna be um, a concrete wall. So um, for rooms that do have concrete or, or cinder block, that's a, that's a common one as well, um, then we ask that you use command strips. Is Top of Carolina open to the public? It is. Again, right now with COVID and everything going on, um, hasn't been as open as much as we'd like, but when it is open, it is full service for everybody. Um, so fantastic date spot, fantastic anniversary spot, or if you're just celebrating, um, you know, some everyone needs a reason to celebrate. So does your roommate also need to be in Capstone? Yes. Yes, they do. Um, so this is going to be for Capstone Scholars. Capstone Scholars is super competitive. Um, and so we, uh, you do need to be accepted as a captain uh, scholar to be here in the captain residence hall. Um, and then Columbia Hall as well um, is part of what we like to call the capstone village. And so some capstone scholars will live in Columbia Hall. If you want to check that room out, be here tomorrow and we will uh, we'll showcase Columbia Hall. All right. What are some more, what are some popular things to bring? Um, you know, obviously, if you want to study here in your room, um, I'd recommend bringing you know, some headphones to, to stay, uh, you know, keep some of the noise out. Um, I'd recommend bringing any sort of tools or pencils or pens that you want to bring from the academic side. Um, your beds are going to be twin XL, so when you're getting your bedding ready, um, it's going to be a twin XL bed, and that's going to be for most residence halls. Capstone is not excluded from that, so be sure to bring that. And I do want to show you, we had a question yesterday, and I want to show you what the bed looks like. So as you can see here, your bed is just gonna lock in um, into um, these notches along. So if you wanna raise your bed up high, um, you can raise that up to what you would wanna be. And then uh, we do have timber lofts. So um, if you wanna loft your bed up high, we do have um, an offering there, um, but that's gonna be how it is. So I personally, not a big fan of having my bed up high. So I dropped my bed down low. Um, and kind of made a, a, my own space with the dresser and with the desk and all that. Um, but you do have the option to raise your bed up high and uh, we do have bed rails as well. So if you roll in your sleep and don't want to make a big fall, then we have those offerings for you there. What other questions do we have? Uh, I do want to point out where Capstone is on campus. So this is part of North Campus. Uh, North Campus is going to be closer to your buildings like Close Hip, like I mentioned, Gambrell. Um, there's a, a, one of my favorite parts of campus is going to be the Pickham Street Bridge. Um, you're going to have your colloquium dining there. You're going to have your Einstein's. Your, your nursing building is really close. Um, so there really are a lot of academic buildings that are really close to Capstone and Columbia Hall both. 
um, and it's going to be a straight shot straight from the building. Um, so there is a lot to offer here. Um, it's one of our more uh, historic buildings as well. So uh, we do do that. But uh, well, if you don't have any questions, um, I do believe I'm about to run out of time of, of going downstairs in the basement. But we do have a launch facility down there uh, that's going to be common space for guests. Um, do want to point out one more thing. The top of Carolina has lights all around it. So the very top of the building, Capstone will light up. And we love, we love, love, love to light up the Capstone Hall Garnet to celebrate, um, celebrate anything. Uh, Gamecocks basketball going to the Final Four. Um, it's successes academically. We got named the number one business school. Anything like that. We love to celebrate and, and light up Capstone. It's one of the buildings that if you're driving in from Columbia, you're going to see it from a mile away because it is 18 stories high. And uh, we'd love to show it off. So Gamecocks, appreciate you joining on this edition of the live tour. If you have any questions, um, feel free to send us a direct message on Instagram um, or contact us at our housing office, 803-777-4283. Or via email, you can email us at housing at sc.edu. We have one more tour on our high school spring break, uh, two-week special where we're taking Instagram live tours. And that's going to be Columbia Hall tomorrow, another sweet style residence hall that's ever popular here on campus. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday.